Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppy One's Cracking. It's D Boss reacts to this Safari video, okay? Nicki Minaj's ex is coming out <laughs> to speak on uh, this deadbeat situation. So, his baby mama, Erica Mena, has been dragging him through the mud for a minute now. She's always saying he's a deadbeat. He doesn't take care of his kids. He doesn't even see his kids. And she has been very, very vocal about it. So, he's going to tell his side. And from looking at the first few seconds of the video, it looks like he, he giving some receipts, okay? I love a good story time with some receipts. And those are the type of story times that I do. <laughs> so if you're interested in my story times, sign up to my Patreon down below. Check check it out. I just put up a story time about an ex that ended up being gay. So check that out <laughs> with the receipts associated with that child. Anyway, let, let's hear what, what Safari got to say. Let's watch. He's showing video. Mm, in front of the kids too? She's trifling. You know what? I'm not surprised by this. She definitely gives crazy. He locked her out. As he should. And obviously that's not a reason why you should not see your kids. But I can understand how that can complicate things a lot. And make it difficult to be in your children's lives. When the baby mama is so insanely crazy. And always putting her hands on you. And cursing you out. And you know making things very difficult. That still shouldn't stop you from seeing your kids. You need to take her to court. Try to get full custody if you can, though. But let's hear what he has to say. I don't even. I don't even know where to start. Um. But I'm. I'm putting everything out there Ooh. because. Still. <laughs> the fact that. <laughs> People are so messy who like story time. Y'all are messy. <laughs> I, I'm messy too, I guess, because I'm like, oh, what happened? But it is crazy. We just be in these people's business, wanting to know the details and the tea. People, shame. Even whether you know me or not, you still, there still has to be like a certain level of of common sense when it comes to just being a judge of character. And this has nothing to do with TV at all, none of that. Like this is this is real life because kids are involved and this deadbeat narrative it's like it's just it's just so jarring to me it it does give me a headache sometimes but then you know um I'm pretty good at just brushing things off but he talking slow, so you know, speed up. People who know me and especially know my situation, <clears throat> they're like, yo, how long are you going to stay quiet? And I just, you know, I be, I be sparing people. And then at the same time, it's like, yo, it's nobody's business, but I feel like everybody just feels like she they making know my it business. business. And if it's reported, it's news and that it's the truth and it's real, but... I'm pretty sure that, you know, there's some men out there who can relate to this. And um, when it comes to being a, a father in a co-parenting situation where somebody wants to have full control of every single thing and they can't have control, it it's just not going to be an easy transition. You know, especially when, you know, the, the, the uh, other person is just used to it being one way or very controlling or still wanting the whole family dynamic and it's not there anymore. But I love my kids. And he about to cry. it's gotten to the point that I got love. I I have to put myself first. So far fix your audio. I'm either gonna end up Jesus. in jail or oh. worse because I'm dealing with someone who is just whose anger management is just non-existent. When I first moved to Florida, I remember I, I got a two-bedroom condo, and the first time I had my kids come over there after my divorce, and I started the whole, okay, visitation, we and having my kids for the days I was having them. When my kids first came over in my condo, it made me so depressed because I was like, yo, they just, I felt like they were so confined, and I didn't feel good about it. And I said, yo, 
I gotta get a house. I need a house. I can't have my kids running around in this condo and, and, and hurting themselves and just it just not being a, a fit to raise, you know, two children, you know, co parenting setup. And I found my house. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna be all the way blunt and straight up with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I got this house because of my kids. I got this house for my kids. See my kids be here running around. It's the best feeling, you know? You know, when you have children with somebody who, at the end of the day, it, it shouldn't even have happened because I should have just noticed certain things when it came to parenting. You know, when you, you're with someone for three years and they have a child and you probably saw the child three to four times because the child was put off to go live with somebody else mm -hmm. and... You know, you don't, you kind of look past it when you don't have kids or you're not thinking about that. I never even like was like, yo, why doesn't your son live here? And then when you finally get to have a conversation with the son and find out why, it's, it's crazy. You know, imagine speaking to a child who's of age and knows what's going on. He's 16 years old. And he says, if I ever had to live with my mother, I would kill myself. <gasps> oh. I, I, would, I wouldn't make that up, you know? And it's, it, it, it sucks that I gotta like, really just run this down because of this smear campaign and somebody who gets such a high on just, talking about me and picking and choosing what kids you want to, you know, have in the forefront and mm. get whatever extra attention you get off of it, you know? So I kind of just looked past certain things and thought that, you know, maybe I could help and make things better. But when you aren't with somebody and it doesn't work out and the two of you are just like, in front of the baby. In a weird space and mm. everything is a fight. Especially in front of the kids. Like, I'm not going to subject myself to that. My kids have never, hell? ever seen me upset. My kids have never heard me yell. Hey, you're right on the top of your head to me. Yeah, you want to tell you? You did that. You can see that more than I you know. Wait, 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 wait. I need to spit up. We're going to slow this down because I want to hear what she's saying. Oh, my kids have never heard me yell. Hey, you lay down on the top of your head to me. Yeah, you are too. You get in there. You can see that more than I you know. I'm going to see the people before I need you. Remember that. Nice woman, though. Yeah, go ahead, you too, bitch. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because your other two kids are going to be miserable just like you. Who is this lady? Oh, fuck all the Go ahead. Jerk off. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, that's mm -hmm. just not in me but you know on the other hand the other side they don't operate I think the way I do and when when I have my kids and someone is pretty much trying to police and parent and like watch every single thing I'm doing and She's call oh who's there well, what's going on it's just so unhealthy so excessive to the point where it just creates a lot of issues like you can't pick and choose when it's okay to say, okay, the kids are good. And then if we're not, you know, in a good space, then it's a, it's an issue. You know, I've taken my kids to Jamaica. If I was such a bad parent, n nobody's going to let a man take the kids to Jamaica by myself. I didn't have no help. And I want a biscuit for it. I did it. You know, it just, it just creates such a level of toxicity that it's better to just be like, you know what? I'm going to deal with this through the courts. And when this thing gets sorted out, how it's supposed to be sorted out, then, okay, we'll figure it out. Oh, so for the past, you know, a few months, that's what I've been dealing with when it came to, you know, looking for lawyers and just trying to figure out this whole thing because my original standing order for this child support and the visitation and all of that, everything, it originated from Georgia. We moved to Florida. When we moved to Florida, everything has to get transferred over. It just got transferred over, like, this week. So now I get to find out what this new setup is going to be because I refuse to go to her house to pick up the kids. I refuse, I'm not. She, it's just too unstable, too unpredictable. Mm -hmm. And the only way I would do it is either a police precinct or if the kids are somewhere else and I'm picking them up from there. 
but everything is just done off of spite and being malicious intent on the other end. Oh Me, I don't move like that. I don't live like that. For the kids who cut their kids. feet? Oh, I she is unhinged. I don't look like I'm carrying stress. I don't look like I'm losing weight. I don't look like, like I'm just harboring so much hate inside me that it physically begins to show. And I'm a father, I'm a grown ass man. When I have my kids in there with me, they're under my care. They don't have nothing to worry about. So I'm not gonna have anybody acting like they need to know every single thing going on. When I was filming Love and Hip Hop, Miami, and I had my kids here, calling, oh, 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 where are the kids at, what are they doing? Oh, you better not be filming with the kids. Oh. First of all, I've, I've never filmed with the kids ever by myself in Love and Hip Hop. They're not a part of my storyline. That doesn't make sense to me. Then I'm not gonna be in the park sure. pushing the kids, playing. Oh yeah, like of course they wanted to see me film with them, but you know, both parents have to sign off on that, and you know, that wasn't happening. And um, you know the last, the last instant of when we had a transfer with the kids, it was she called me and said, "Hey, I'm in the area. I can save you a trip. I can come pick the kids up." And um. I'm, uh, I'm tired and I don't want to do the drive. And it was like really like early in the morning or whatever. So I'm like, all right, cool. I let her in, lay down in the kids' room. One of the kids was in there, next to the kids was laying with me in my room. And when she gets up, she's like, she wants to have a conversation with me. I'm like, okay, let's talk. As soon as she starts talking, it's yelling, screaming, all that. I said, yo, look, I'm not doing that. And if you can't talk to me normally in front of the kids where the kids don't realize that we're having a discussion about something that, that we're not agreeing on, then I'm not having it. Oh, I don't give a half, blah, 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 all this yelling, whatever. So I'm like, okay, forget it. Just, you know, you here, pick them up, you can leave. And in my face, all of that, blah, 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 and all that. So I'm like, ah, right, you don't want to leave. I call the cops. I'm on the phone with the cops. I'm telling them, hey, you know, before this escalates, I would like police presence here because I want her to leave. Filming me calling the cops. Okay, I'm calling the cops. You're filming me. You're the one with the anger management problem just going off. So I break stuff up in the house, has the kids running over glass, breaking stuff up outside. Wow. Yeah, she is mentally unstable. After that, I just was like, you know what? If I can't pick up my kids in a place that well, we is have like kids a trouble point or a police person. precinct, I'm not picking them up because I'm not going to her house ever again in life. My daughter, she has an iPad. I'm blocked on the iPad. My daughter's four years old. She doesn't know how to block people. She doesn't even know how to text. Oh. Um, childish, this is like BS like that. So I'm like, okay. Um, the next time I got my kids after that. Shit. Oh, no, prior. Before that, when um, I went and I was going to get a restraining order because, you know, she's doing stuff like showing up in my crib, five o'clock in the morning, pulling out a ladder, hopping the fence. Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God. What is that? What the fuck? Nah, yeah, no. I could not imagine parenting with somebody like this. I will get a restraining order. She is a weirdo. Banging on my windows. My son's birthday party was like a month after that. Oh no, God. like it was a while after that. And then when I went to the party, they said, hey, you want a restraining order, but um, yeah. you went to a party. She was there, so you, you must not be in that much fear. So I have to drop that case. And this is me having to have two different lawyers. This is two separate lawyers. For the, for, for one lawyer for that, and another lawyer for this whole family court thing. And next time I got them, it was for, you know, beginning of the summer. And I was like, yo, I'll keep the kids for the summer. Let me know. My mother and my sister's here. They love being around them. They want to be around them. That's the issue. I can't reach my daughter's iPad. Pickup situation isn't sorted out. So... When I finally do get them, I sign them up for summer camp. She gets so mad at me for signing them up for summer camp. There's a summer camp by my house. She lives 40 minutes away from me. Summer camp, I'm like, cool, I got them. Let me at least do that. Cause you know, they were here. My mother was like, yo, you can't just be having them here playing whatever, whatever she's like, they need some, you know, structure. Sign them up for summer camp. I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. I signed them up for the summer camp. I paid for it. I paid $2,000 to put them in summer camp. They went to summer camp for three days because she had such an issue with me putting them in summer camp by my house. And it was like, why didn't I talk to her, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, I have the kids, I they're under my watch and care. I wanna put them in a summer camp by me. And I'm gonna show y'all because it's like, not just talking, just to talk, but put them in summer camp, 
This is what the first month, this is what it was supposed to do, this is what it's supposed to be, this is the schedule. Summer camp July, boom, boom, boom. The entire month, this was gonna be their schedule for the entire month. This is their lunch schedule. This is one of the things she made for me in one of the days that she was in summer camp. So, I'm like, okay, what's wrong with putting the kid in summer camp? And it just was such a control thing and it created like, like it created so much drama. Oh, drop the kids off. Oh, you put it in the summer camp. Uh, just nothing made absolute any sense. Nothing. Like it was just such an irate, ignorant conversation to the point we don't even speak direct. Like my house is set up for them. This, I got their shrine set up. This is for them. This is their area. They, 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 you walk in, this is Maji's room. Ain't no, ain't no deadbeat doing this. Deadbeats ain't doing this. My daughter, my, my daughter's room is bigger than, than some adults' rooms. And it's just so it's insane to me how people just, oh yeah, you're a deadbeat. Yo, I know about real deadbeats. And this situation is all about control. This woman texts a naked picture of me to my mother and my sister. I figure since I know your son is such a liar and since I know he lies on me all the time, to you and your daughter, just figured I'd inform you. Because she wanted to let them know that, oh, you you and your, your... Of him being up in my bed last night. It's ironic how he paints me out to be such a hateful monster, but yet won't leave me alone. Oh, this bitch is weird. Son, to to your mama? Control. This woman texts a naked picture of me to my mother and my sister because she wanted to let them know that, oh, you, you and your, your son, I'm pretty sure your son's not I'm telling you what's really going on between us and all of this other nonsense, okay? Me and you are still, you know, having a relationship, and that's what we're, thank God that's over it. Like, you know, I, I prayed about that, and, and, and there's absolutely nothing physical going on anymore. And you taking naked pictures and sending it to my mother and my sister to do what and prove what? My mother and my sister are the most least problematic people on earth. My mother's not one of those mothers. She's not like a TV mother who's here acting rah rah and doing a bunch of ignorant nonsense. Like my mother is so calm and zen. And anyone who knows my mother and my sister and what they do, like my sister and my mom, they are in the holistic field. They're very, everything about them is zen, herbs, teas, spiritual. And mm. you're sending naked pictures of me to my mother and my sister. That is sick. For what? And it's like, that's the type of nonsense I have to deal with. I cannot ever pick up my kids in peace. Everything is just long and drawn out. And it's just so this is horrific. unfair that when a woman says something, no matter what, it's like, oh, People it's the man's fault. People are like, yeah, but that you, is true. You, you didn't know. And I'm kind of like, you know what? Well, I, I thought I could make somebody not be. That is true. People tend to do that. Um, she's definitely a, a fucking psychotic person okay she's definitely unstable but of course you do have to think like hmm, why would you have kids with somebody like this obviously she's at fault for everything that he's describing but you know i feel like people do like to look at both sides you know in some cases but in other cases people do just put the blame on the man and it's automatically like okay it's your fault so he he's not he's not lying there just like as angry. But then when things just started like going sour and not working out, it just became just, it's just not even realistic to deal with. I saw somebody say one time and I totally felt it. And if you're a father, So he even admitted that he knew that she was angry. Like he, he knew she was an angry person, but I guess it just intensified over time. So yeah, you do have to be careful with who you have kids with. Oh, you could, you could relate to this. And it's like, they're like, yo, when you're dealing with a woman who makes you being a parent, just they just make it so hard. It is so draining dealing with someone who's trying to draw you out, someone who wants a reaction from you, someone who talks about you nonstop because they want a reaction. I, I, I don't, I'm not one of those people. I don't, I don't care about people liking me and caring and, and, and proving my point. Like, hey guys, look, um, no, this isn't true. This is what's really happening. I, yo, people who know me, my mouth has been quiet for years yeah years i sense. don't say nothing it just, it's just so draining like everything about it like her her own her own family is is going after her for child support because she doesn't do anything to help her mm -hmm. son so to, to try to make it seem like i'm some deadbeat and i'm not trying to be there for my kids yeah, i would I love to be there for my kids but it would be nice for you to get out the way let me be a father let me take my kids and go wherever i want with them my kids are never in danger they don't ever have to worry about nothing this is not about money this is not about child support my kids I love me <laughs> Hey.
say anything but this thing has been going on for so long yeah she keeps bringing like, attention to you how much long am i gonna she was just talking about him like a couple something. days ago i'm pretty sure that's why he dropped this video she just said something about him i forgot what it was but she talks about him all the time i'm pretty sure i saw a headline about her saying something this was very recent like within the past couple days so he's he's over it you know it's it's it's, it's so much it's just so much things to list and name like I would have to sit there with a pen and pad and write down every single incident and all that. But I don't, this is, I'm doing this one and one time only. Like, Damn. but it's just, it's just a lot of corny shit. All the fake Instagram pages, harassing my mother, harassing my sister. If I'm talking to a girl, all of a sudden the girl starts getting harassed from the same fake Instagram names. And it's like, yo, it, 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 it takes so much energy to to like be like that and i don't have that type of energy on even doing this right now is giving me such a headache and i'm not the kind of person to get headaches my head is pounding right now just talking about all this but you know Damn. at the end of the day i'm like you know god is gonna do what god is gonna do that's scary and that she's that's parents be that. and children and this is how she is like this ain't no it's not a storyline i'm not on love and hip-hop this is my real life right now i'm 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 really i'm tired you know, um, I, I heard somebody one time say, like, when you go through things in life, nothing stays the same, nothing lasts forever. That's and true. that's kind of how I've been dealing with this. Like, you know, even with as long as I've, you know, not seen my kids, because, you know, whether it's right or wrong, I'm just standing on, yo, I'm not going to your house to pick up the kids. I don't precinct or somebody from your family's house that I'm dead. Hey, Lisa Ninja Turtle. Told me you have the kids. Lisa Ninja Turtle, baby. What's up? Told me you have the kids. Let me know about me picking them up. I've been asking about them and trying to call Maji iPad, but I must be blocked on it. Unblock me if you can on it. I know Maji doesn't know how to block me, and I'm sure you want some time to yourself. I wanted to keep them for a month, but I'm not playing any kitty games about it. This was on August 12th. I don't have no issue with going over, going over there, and that's that. But, like... I'm, I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not putting myself in any position to crash out, potentially snap, lose my. Like, come on, because there's people who be in situations like this. Everyone's not able to like be this cool. This shit is draining. When you get to a certain age in life, like yo, drama and just all of this corny nonsense and fighting and and arguing on the That's internet, true. putting your personal business on the internet, on social media. To people who don't like, yo, I don't want no one to feel sorry for me. I don't need sympathy. I don't need pity. I don't care about none of that from nobody. I know at the end of the day what's going on, and that's that. I'm just dealing with someone who doesn't deal with logic. They deal with their way or no way. And if it's not their way, you're gonna you're gonna get harassed. And I don't got time. I don't got time, yo. I don't care what nobody's doing. I'm not harassing you. You DMing girls that I was talking to and and and, and telling them shit and saying it's like, yo, it's corny, yo. She's a weirdo. I did that once. I did that once. And when I did it, I didn't send pictures and videos and say, yo, look, this is what's happening. I just was like, yo, I want to talk to you because I like on some, hey, look, if this is who you're dealing with, I just want to let you know that this is what's happening. And if y'all are dealing, then leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? But this ain't really about that. I'm just trying to have my, my time and my setup with my kids. I, my mother and my sister would love for me to bring them to New York and, and spend some time with them there. And it's just nothing, nothing is easy. Everything is a fight. And I don't fight, I don't argue, it's draining. I'm not, I don't, I don't know, I'm, I'm not doing it. So when all this core stuff is said and done, it is what it is. This is, this is not about child support. So this thing ain't about 
it's not about money. It's, it's, it's way bigger than that. It's about let me be a father, stay out the way, and that's it. Stop trying to act like you don't care when you do care. Stop harassing my mother. Stop harassing my sister. Stop <coughs> harassing anyone that's close to me. And this is not to bash. This is just the truth. This is just what it is. So that narrative that everyone just thinks is so cool to run, like, you, you use common sense. If I haven't seen my kids, there is a reason. And this is the reason. You're going to see it. You're going to see everything. Oh, my God. More tea. Or more tea. Putting a ladder to hop over a nigga's fence is fucking cuckoo. Someone who you not even with? And then you running. Where the fuck you get that ladder from? The neighbor's yard? Are you stealing? Bitch, you go here. I think she might be bipolar or something. Something's off. This is not normal behavior. This isn't normal angry behavior. This is heartbreaking to do this in front of the children. Like, jeez. They know what's going on. This is so sad. And this was in May, bro, of this year. Y'all not together. And then you breaking shit. He's so chill. Literally breaking things while the children are walking barefoot. I am appalled. This was really disturbing. I did not expect him to come with this many receipts and to show how mentally unstable this woman is. Nobody would have an easy time seeing their kids under these circumstances. And this was in that situation he just showed was in May. They have not been together for a while now. They're not even in a relationship and she's being this aggressive and violent. And in front of the children, like, this is so disgusting, bro. I want her to shut the hell up. She better not say nothing else about a deadbeat nothing. I'm so glad he told his truth and exposed the truth about what's going on and the receipts. Because now we know what's happening. We know that he is trying to parent, but she's on this weird psychotic shit. And sending naked pictures to his mom and sister of him? That's so fucking sick. This woman is so disturbed. I wish he never had kids with her. So I wish you, you know, practice some better judgments. <laughs> because I just don't understand how you can have kids with someone who you, you can tell when somebody's mentally unstable. Like, they were in a relationship for a while before he had kids with her. So it's like, I, I hope that he learns from this and, and does better in the future. Uh, but yeah, she's a sick bitch. <laughs> this, this, was, this was wild. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.